Hey there YouTube, it's Leo Alderpold. Um, back with you again momentarily, albeit briefly, no doubt, um, because um, the purpose of this video is really just uh, by way of a bit of a review. And most of you who follow my channel will know that I don't really do tobacco reviews and shit like that. There are, well, there are more interesting things to talk about as far as I'm concerned. But um, I joined uh, a group on Facebook um, in the UK here, um, which was tobacco reviews, oh, not tobacco reviews, tobacco blends club or something like that, 2019, I don't know. Uh, and I joined it just for shits and giggles, really. But, um, you know, the premise of the group being that one has a different blend every month and does some kind of review of it, be it on Facebook you know, or a literary review, YouTube review, whatever, I don't know, or just exchanges people's thoughts, uh, exchanges one's thoughts about it. Uh, but my medium... Uh, I suppose uh, really is is probably video um, so I'm doing it through this mechanism uh, hmm. the tobacco I'm reviewing is um, something I actually tried when I was a newbie um, to this hobby um, And it's um, Sam Gowith's, or Gowith and Hogarth, I can't remember who makes it in fact, uh, 1792 Flake in any case. Um, it's got a bit of a legendary or um, infamous, one might say, reputation amongst pipe smokers for being quite a belter of a tobacco, nicotine-wise, flavour-wise and everything else. And the funny thing is I remember when I started smoking a pipe a number of years ago now, um, excuse me, it was one of those ones I thought was, yeah, pretty strong, but I was a cigarette smoker, so it didn't, didn't really affect me nicotine-wise. Excuse me, a bit gassy, drinking a speckled hen beer. Um, and I, I remember quite enjoying it. But it has got this immense reputation as being knock you off your feet strong and all of the rest of it. So I've I've, I've not had it really, at, well, in fact, at all since I started smoking. Um, so I've kind of forgotten what it's like. And that's put a little bit of the fear into me, I suppose. Um, so I'm, I'm suitably ensconced at my kitchen table um, with a beer. Uh, and I've loaded a bowl of a sample uh, that a friend of mine um, from the UK Pipe and Tobacco Club, Chris, if you're watching, thank you, buddy, uh, sent to me. I bought it. I, I got a sample because I basically remember it being the kind of blend that um, was okay for a now and then. But can I justify spending the best part of fifteen quid on a tin? Yeah, I'm not really so sure. I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm going to review the sample anyway for the sake of uh, sake of posterity. Uh, I'm smoking it in uh, one of the new acquisitions I've made this month. I've splurged a bit money-wise and bought myself a whole range of new pipes and things in the last month. Um, one of which is uh, this beautiful Savinelli Condale, which I bought to replace the church warden that I left in Papua New Guinea uh, on my office desk when I left in a bit of a rush. Um, I took uh, the, the handful of pipes that I was using and uh, some other bits and bobs where I left my old Wessex church warden and various other things over there, no doubt to be used um, by the locals. Um, as they cannibalised all of my stuff since I haven't gone back. Um, but I 
wanted one of these things for years. I love them. Um, they're really beautiful pipes. Beautiful grain on the briar, but this nice oak banding. It's a 9mm filter pipe, which I'm not really used to, but I've got a conversion thing that fits inside it as well, although I'm using a filter now. Beautiful pipe, and uh, I bought it actually because uh, <laughs> because I'm so impressionable. Uh, I was watching Lord of the Rings with my girl the other week, and I thought, shit, I still haven't replaced my church, church warden, so... Well, I'm doing okay for money this month, so spend an inordinate amount of money on a nice Savinelli one. Mm. And a very fine pipe it is too. I'm very pleased with it. But what to say about the tobacco? Well... I remember it being a little more strongly flavoured than this. Um, it's flavoured with Tonkin bean, um, which is uh, a strong aromatic from South America, I believe Tonkin bean comes from. Got a very distinct flavour. Um, although this sample I've been sent, I think, is about a year old, so it might have lost some of its... Um, potency as a result of that. What I've smoked since is the Lakeland Dark Flake that comes in a tin that I believe is exactly the same blend but without the Tonkin topping. And this is pretty much of a muchness. Um, it is strong. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a nicotine hit there. But I'm still smoking cigarettes fairly frequently, so, um, you know, it's it's maybe not hitting me quite as hard as it would with a lot of people. Um, and I also take snuff and the occasional bit of dip, so my nicotine tolerance is generally pretty high. Um, it's not blowing my head off quite as much as I imagined it would. Now, the Lakeland Dark, I had a, I've only had one bowl of, and I thought, to be honest, it was like smoking soil. Really, it didn't have much of a flavour, it was very strong, taste-wise, but with no flavour, if that makes much sense. Kind of, eh, kind of utilitarian, I suppose you would call it. This... I have to say, and it might be because I'm smoking it through a 9mm balsa filter in this pipe, but it's actually really not as bad as I was anticipating it. Well, how to describe the flavour? Um, I mean, it's earthy without a doubt. Very, very earthy. It's very much got that dark Lakeland moodiness about it that puts one in mind of, well, if one has travelled to the English Lake District, how it looks in the depths of a winter squall. And I don't know also whether or not it's because I've also smoked a couple of other Lakelands in this pipe. Um, I have smoked Grassmere Flake in this and Ennerdale as well. Um, and that's probably ghosted the pipe a little bit, giving it a bit more of a floral um, sort of flavour to it. But I am getting some degree of florality, if that isn't a word it is now. But 
so far, it's um, it's actually really not as bad as I expected it to be. It's quite pleasant, in fact. I've had a day of being stuck in a meeting room with a bunch of people talking about woodland management and tree health issues, climate change and things. So I'm just in the mood for a good strong smoke right now myself. And it might be that I'm enjoying it more because it's just what I need right now. I mean, if I were to give this a fair review, I'd probably need to do a, a couple more bowlfuls of it. Um, but, do you know, actually, first impressions wise, well, really second or third, although the first impressions was quite a number of years ago now. It's really not as bad as I'd anticipated. Definitely not an all-day smoke, definitely not a breakfast smoke. Definitely something for a full stomach and a beer. Especially if you don't have a high tolerance to nicotine, you should leave it well alone. Do you know what, actually, in a long pipe like this, is really not that bad. Yeah. So it's kind of peaty, stormy. It'd be great outdoors when you're cold, I think. Much like... G&H uh, or Sam Gowis Bothy Flake or something of that ilk. I don't think my other half is going to like the smell of our kitchen after this. So room note wise, probably best for the man shed. But actually really quite robust and um, can't complain as much as I was anticipating doing so, it has to be said. So this was supposed to be a really quick review. It's turned into 13 minutes or so. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I might put some other reviews up of the uh, 2019 Blends Club, um, but if you don't like tobacco reviews, um, I don't blame you. I find them mostly dull as ditch water. Um, I don't blame you for not watching another one from me at all. Um, I'm really only just reviewing this a little bit for the sake of um, camaraderie, shall we say. Anyway, hopefully back to doing some proper videos of a much more interesting content at some point very soon. I have been trying um, for the last mm, couple of months since I did my last one. Um, forgive me, uh, it's just not really been amiable situation-wise or whatever for a while. So, But I'll fill you in uh, in due course. In the meantime, take it easy, y'all. Um, do give 1792 a try um, if you're of a robust and hairy chested nature. Um, but if you don't want to, that's fine too. Catch you later folks.